Hey guys, Eric from Chandler Physical Therapy here. I'm getting to sit down with Jay Bell, licensed massage therapist in here in the Valley. Um, we're lucky enough to have him do some work out of our clinic a couple days a week. And I have him here today to talk about some differences in that he does from the typical massage. He does something that's called fascial work and he also does something that's called cupping. And I wanted to uh, have him share that with you guys. But uh, first, Jay, would you mind uh, kind of just introducing yourself, telling us what you do and what you, why what you do is different than typical massage? Sure. Um, I originally studied neuromuscular therapy when I was in massage school. Okay. And what that is, it's a system of body work that works on removing ischemia from the body, which okay. is uh, areas of pain where nutrients and fluid cannot get to the tissue and, and waste cannot leave that area. Okay. So it typically gets very sore, very painful. Um, there's a heavy emphasis on trigger point therapy. Okay. Um, I then went on to study fascial release techniques, okay. which is working with the connective tissue of the body and trying to mobilize areas that are stuck or that are that are too too uh, tense. Okay. Um, now is that muscular or is that different than being muscular? Because I think a lot of people are kind of confused on the sure. term of fascia. Would you yeah. mind going into that a little yeah. bit more? So what fascia is? It's it's the connective tissue throughout the body that holds us, it binds us together, right. as well as giving us our structure at the same time. So it's this this in and out forces. Um, it surrounds everything in the body, from bone to organs to to individual muscle fibers to uh, muscle groups. And <clears throat> a lot of times, when when somebody has an injury, the nervous system causes a particular area of fascia to lock down. One of the big problems is the brain never goes back and says, "Okay, you can let that go now." Right. So we end up with compensation patterns and areas of the body that don't move, that aren't as, as resilient as they used to be. Gotcha. Um, so a lot of the work that I do is going into those areas of the body and trying to mobilize and get things moving and, and get that spring back into that connective tissue that, that's been lost. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And tell us a little bit about cupping, how that mm -hmm. plays into the things you do, and, and where kind of background of cupping, why do you do it, and sure. what benefits do you So uh, part of my background, I studied a system called Twina for many years. Which mm -hmm. is, what is that? It's a, it's a Chinese orthopedic. It's basically the Chinese system of manual therapy. Okay. Um, and that's where I was originally introduced to cupping. Okay. Um, the one that most people would find familiar is fire cupping, where you take a glass cup and you you light a cotton swab and you put it down and it causes a vacuum. Um, and these here are, are silicone cups and it works sort of on the same, same idea. It causes a vacuum and, and okay. it, they're very, very good at stimulating um, superficial fascia, which okay. is the fascia directly underneath the skin. Okay. Um, getting blood moving in and out, getting uh, nutrients and fluid into the tissue, right. and then you can progress to, to deeper layers much easier. I got you. Now, you don't use cupping for every aspect of what you do. No. But, but you're a pretty big fan of it. Oh, I love it. Okay. It, but Why it, do you like it so much? It is not the, you know, I will never take somebody onto a table and say, this is all I'm using. Right. I, it's the be all in all. Right. right. Um, but it, it's it's sort of like when you're painting and you, and you slap a layer of, of primer on the wall first. Mm -hmm. it, it's just, it's sort of a shotgun approach to get to the deeper layers and, and work into that. I gotcha. Now, you, you've obviously had some extra training mm -hmm. outside of being just a licensed massage therapist. Okay. Uh, take, tell people what that means, because a lot of your training, I don't think people get how intense your training is and how, mm -hmm. how you know, deep you go into certain specialties. Um, a lot of massage therapists, they, they leave school and they, they take their required continuing education courses and mm -hmm. that's what they got. And I, from the second I got out of school, I was digging into, okay, how can, how can this be more 
than just rubbing on an area that hurts on somebody's body. Right. Um, I've I've intently studied functional movement systems. Um, a lot of Thomas Myers anatomy trains work. His assessment protocols, those sorts of things. Now, anatomy trains to kind of explain is it's a system of assessing and treating fascial restriction because right. fascia is not just a single layer. It runs in certain patterns throughout the body and very predictable patterns. Right. And when something goes wrong with it, usually you will see characteristically predictable patterns of movement impairments. Exactly. And so what he's talking about is that there are certain areas in which we can treat and certain structural protocols and things of that nature that you run through exactly. in order to kind of do that. And it's 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 a system that's not a one and done type situation. <laughs> right. right? Yeah. And it's you know, sometimes you really have to explain that to, to patients that come in because, you know, they may have tension headaches several times a week and you start rolling the bottoms of their feet and they just, right. like, there's a direct connection between those two structures of sure. the body. You know? We treat calves all the time. Exactly. For, for yeah. headaches. Exactly. It's, it's very, very important to do right. that. Um, we use cupping actually a lot yeah. and, and some of the fascial type stuff every day. We use it actually a lot for post-op. Patients, oh, promote nice. circulation oh, and things of that nature. Yeah. Um, but you were going to do a demonstration yeah, sure. for that with Absolutely. that. Um, so what Jay's going to do, we're going to move the computer a little bit. He's going to get me on the table. We're going to show what cupping is, how uh, how it can be fun. It's not incredibly aggressive. I think people are a little concerned. It can be. It depends on the person. But, but it's it's a very gradual, you know, you don't just jump in and start right. pulling on deep stuff. I mean, it's, it's very outstanding. Yeah. Well, let me move the beer. We'll get yeah, that sure. up here. Make sure this is. Didn't know that I was wearing some really nice shorts. I didn't that. And since I have some left IT band issues, do I have a bolster? There is one just outside the door. What's the one? Nice. There's a blue one. Or you got those pillows right there will work. Yeah. That, that's fine. Right. <laughs> so what Jay's gonna do is uh obviously you don't want to do it with just on dry skin. No, uh, no, of, that'll be pretty uncomfortable. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm just, this is just uh, lotion so that everything moves and slides pretty easily. And I kind of goop it on there so I don't have to reapply so much. <coughs> and to start, I just very gradually work the tissue. Right now, there's there's no suction on that. Yeah. He's just kind of getting things moving. And I'll do this for, I mean, if I'm working on somebody's back, I'll do this for, I don't know, five to ten minutes just to kind of get things stimulated a little bit. Now, some of the, when we're talking about fascia, some of the more recent kind of thoughts on that is that there's actually some innervation to that, some nerve oh, yeah. innervation to that, and that fascia will respond to a nerve stimulation and that Absolutely. it can have some contractile qualities where it was not previously thought to have Absolutely. any sort of innervation. Um, it does respond chemically, so if your diet is poor or if you are post-op or if you are under stress, it, you will have a very visceral, very body response to that. Very much so. And, um, and the same with chronic stress. Yeah, and hydration is a big thing. You bet. Um, so if you want to add something to your list of why you should be drinking more water, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. You're in Arizona, you don't need to, <laughs> yeah. you need to spend yeah. too much time talking. So after doing surface stuff for a while, I would very, very gradually cause some suction in the area. Are you able to kind of show them how much suction, like how much skin is pulled up? Um, it's it's about yay much. It's not very much at all, just to begin with. If you take that, I mean, it's obviously got some yeah. adherence to it, but it, it's it's not aggressive. Right. And in fact, the the research done by Dr. Robert Sleep with the innovation of fascia 
um, he and his team showed that um, that fascia cannot be stretched. Right. And that what you're actually doing is you're stimulating those those nerve receptors to cause um, changes in tone and that sort of thing. Very similar. Like there, there's a lot of debate as to whether foam rolling actually stretches the IT band, which is the most probably popular piece of fascia that we know. Um, and I'm, I think that really when you see a lot of the fascia, you know, you are not stretching. You're affecting the underlying tissue because the mu every single fine muscle ties into that IT band on some level. You're reducing the tension through uh, that. It will, you know, in turn reduce the your perceived tension on right. the IT band. And I think Jay's laughing, and I'm lighting up the <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Exactly. And one of the cool things about copying is it's also pretty diagnostic. You bet. To where you, you start working an area of tissue, and when it pops up and shows you what looks like a sunburn, that's sort of, okay, now, now I can see where problematic areas are. Absolutely. Yeah. And we'll, as soon as he gets done, we will show you that because I mean it's it's a sensitive area but it's not incredibly painful. It looks a lot worse than it actually feels. And little by little I just increase the the amount of suction on the cup. Just to now, are you to changing it. cup sizes as well as you go or are you maintain I typically do. Yeah. Um, depending on what I'm working on. I I very rarely use the very, very small ones. Um, but yeah, depending on surface area or what comes up as all of this is going on, <laughs> if you want to show that. Yeah, them. absolutely. So he obviously went around many areas. I don't know if this is going to show up too well, um, but you can kind of see show up through there, okay. how it's a lot more red in that general vicinity. Yeah versus any of the other ones. And that was an area where it was a little bit more sensitive for me as well. Yeah. Um, anything else you wanted to tell people about cupping before we wrap up for today? Um, it's, it's one of those things that I, that I did for a really long time. And then it wasn't until getting these actually that things kind of bridged into what I was already doing. And, and, I think they're fantastic. If, if you're a therapist and you're, you're curious about about getting a set, I would absolutely suggest to. I mean, they're, they're fantastic. Perfect. Well, Jay does uh, some office hours out of here. You also do it out of Glendale, is that correct? Okay. So I'm going to pull up his contact information, and uh, if you want to kind of give us the basic uh, as far as location where that is in Glendale, and, and then we'll, we'll wrap up for today. And there you can see his contact information right there. Um, obviously, he's got his contact uh, phone number and email. Do you do better by phone? Do you do better by email? Better by email. Okay, Absolutely. definitely. But I'm the same way. And then also on your website, you do have an appointment scheduler. I do. On the website. I sure do. And uh, that is just ArizonaBodyWellness.com, correct? Correct. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jay, for taking the time. And I hope you guys uh, are able to get in touch with him and see if that's all about for you.